Our exclusive interview with Ukraine's President Zelensky, our foreign correspondent James Longman spoke with the president inside a hospital on the dire situation his soldiers are facing. Good morning to you, James. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Missile strikes hit Kharkiv almost every day. It had been successfully defended. Life had been slowly coming back to normal, but now Russian troops are bearing down on this city, and it's amid that danger that President Zelensky visited. Yes, to spread morale, but also to sound the alarm. This morning, President Zelensky speaks exclusively to ABC News in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. More than a million people now directly threatened by Russia's advance. The situation is so serious, he had to cancel a foreign trip to rush here, despite the danger. We join him as he visits some of the men injured in a desperate effort to protect the city, awarding them medals of valor. It's an indication of just how serious the situation is that President Zelensky has had to cancel his foreign trips, come here to Kharkiv and meet the men who are fighting to defend this city. He's been the backbone of this war effort, and it means a lot to them. During these days, 500 persons have been wounded. Yes, a lot of guys gave their lives. They're soldiers, but, but uh, mostly they're from this region. They've been born here. And for me, it's very important to support them to come and to say that we recognize their bravery. Not too much in the world, people who are ready to give their life for the life of others. It's very normal that the president has to be with the soldiers. How serious is the situation right now? It's difficult, it's serious, so brigades are not totally equipped because of the package which we waited through eight months. So is what's happening now in Kharkiv, is this America's fault? It's the fault of the world that the world gave possibility of Putin to occupy it on the country, and I think so. But now the world can help. Do you feel that Secretary Blinken's visit went well? Did you get what you wanted? The president repeats his thanks to the United States for aid, but there's a sense of frustration about its delay, and specifically the air defenses needed to keep Kharkiv safe. Really, if we are speaking about this region, Russia can't occupy this if, for example, two Petros will stay in this region, just two systems. And you're frustrated that you make these requests and there's the words, but you don't feel that they're the actions, maybe? Now it's, it's you know, looking like more that very important dialogue. But, but I'm raising up the question about two Petros for Kharkiv. Really, between us, I'm raising up more than one year. It's clear from talking to the soldiers just how intense the fighting has become. I'm honored to receive this medal, says Maxim, who nearly died in Vovoshansk just yesterday. But it should go to my comrades who saved my life. As President Zelensky tries to get help for his country, Vladimir Putin has arrived in China to shore up support for his war effort. This is truly a conflict of global consequences, and it will be an issue come November.